When we divide by 10, the digits move one place to the right. So we have 0 0.4 on our place value chart. And if we move the digits one place to the right, we now have 0 0.04. But we always need a digit in our units column. So if it's empty, we always write in 0. So our answer is 0 0.04. So now, what is 0 0.06 divided by 10? We move the digits one place to the right, and now again we need a 0 in our units column, so we have 0 0.006. What is 0 0.43 divided by 10? We move the digits across, write a 0 in the units, and we have 0 0.043. For 9.5 divided by 10, we move the digits one place to the right, so we have 0 0.95. For 10.6 divided by 10, we move the digits across, and this time we don't have an empty units column, so we can just write the answer as it appears here. That's 1.06. For 7.43 divided by 10, we move the digits one place to the right, write a zero in our empty units column, so we have 0 0.743. For 26.65 divided by 10, we move the digits so we have 2.665. For 99.02 divided by 10, we move the digits and we have 9.902. And remember, this zero is important. We can only ignore a zero if it's on the end of a decimal number, not if it's between other digits. For 315.1 divided by 10, we move the digits and we have 31.51. And for 200.13, we move the digits one place because we're dividing by 10, so we have 20.013. And again, it's important that we keep the zeros because they're not on the end. So now, instead of dividing by 10, let's try dividing by 100. So when we divide by 100, the digits move two place values to the right rather than just one. So if we move two places across, you can see that the four that was in the tenths is now in our thousandths. But because we can't have an empty units column, we need a zero and we need a zero in our tenths as well, because we need to show four thousandths, and the thousandths digit is always the third digit after the decimal point. So we need to write our answer as 0 0.004. Now, what is 3.9 divided by 100? We're moving the digits two places, writing zeros in our empty place value columns that we need, so we get 0 0.039. What is 36.8 divided by 100? We move the digits, write a zero in our units, and we have 0 0.368. For 40.9 divided by 100, we move the digits, and we have 0 0.409. For 595.9, we move the digits two places to the right, because we're dividing by 100, so we have 5.959. 
and for 900.1 we're moving the digits two places to divide by 100 so we have 9.001.